God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. So I have looked for you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory because your loving kindness is better than life. My lips shall praise you. Thus I will bless you while I live. I will lift up my hands in your name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness. And my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips. Receive the joy of the Lord. God says we're past the knees. Let's go deeper. God says I will make the wilderness a pool of water and a dry land springs of water. God says, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. God, we are hearing the sounds of waves. Deep calleth unto deep. At the noise of thy water sprouts, all thy waves and thy billows are going over me. Psalms 42, 7. God, let your waves wash over us tonight with your glory. Why stop at the knees? Let's go deeper. How many want to manifest floods in dry land? If you want to be a flood of God, an unstoppable force, the key is the deep. I'm calling you to the deep, calls on the deep place. When you're in the deep place, you're deep with God. You tap in to the flood. (laughs) In the six hundredth year of Noah's life, in the second month. And the seventeenth day of the month, the same day were all the fountains of the great deep broken up, and the windows of heaven were open.
it says, when the fountains of the deep were broken, the heavens were open. And that's when the rain came down. The rain, there was so much that they needed an ark. God says, I'm bringing this type of flood, rain, again. But this time, it's in my spirit. When it talked about rain in the days of Noah, it was a flood rain. It was an abnormal flood rain. Receive my flood rain. It's time for you to be filled with God so that you overflow everywhere you go. Get ready. It's time to overflow. I'm on my way to your chest to cover you up to your chest. We're going deeper. God says, I'm going to make you a tidal wave. Say this out loud. I want to be a tidal wave. You are going to be a tidal wave against the kingdom of darkness. Instead of the kingdom of darkness running all over you, it's time for you to run all over the kingdom of darkness. And you do that when you've been in the river of my glory. Blessed is the man that trusteth, trusteth in the Lord, and whose hope is the Lord. For he shall be as a tree planted by waters, and that spreadeth out her roots by the river, and shall not see when the heat cometh. But her leaf shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought. Neither shall she cease from yielding fruit because the roots are in the river. When you're in the river, you don't wilt, you don't burn because you're tapped into the source of my glory. God says, I'm calling my church to be glory chasers. Chase my glory down, says the Lord. Seek God in revival.
God says we are to the chest. Now, let's go up to your face. God says we're not stopping there because we have to go over your head with my glory. God is calling his church back to being filled with fire. How many are ready for the treasures? Because God says, I'm opening my treasure room in the river of my glory. God says, we're almost there. Are you satisfied? God says, never be satisfied. When you get more, you got to want more. If you see angels, you got to want more. If you have manifestations of my glory, you still want more. Gemstones begin to fall around you. you got to still want more. Your face glows like Moses when he came down from the mountain. God says, you still, you still have to want more. Because even Moses has not had the measure of my presence that's about to come upon my church. Get ready. Tap into my glory. The priests could not continue ministering because of the cloud. For the glory of the Lord filled the house of the Lord. 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 11. One visitation of the Shekinah glory transforms you forever. Everyone in this room expect a visitation of this. I, the Lord, am coming to visit you. Know that I'm coming. Prepare your houses. Get rid of anything that would keep me from coming. Sphere of heaven. 
The glory is the very atmosphere where God dwells on earth as it is in heaven. God says, I want to dwell. I want to dwell in your church. I want to dwell in your home. In the river of my presence, supernatural becomes natural. Ordinary becomes extraordinary because I am the glory and I change everything that I touch. I saw the Lord sitting on a throne, lofty and exalted, with the train of his robe filling the temple. Isaiah 6, verse 1. Remember the story of Moses. He pitched a tent. He said to the Lord, My Lord, if now I have found favor in your sight, please do not pass your servant by. Moses said, please show me your glory. More than anything else, Moses wanted God to go before him. He didn't want just manifestations. He wanted the king of glory. Now that we're at the deep, God says, receive financial miracles. I am untying the hands of the enemy. Some are going to get what is due to them that has been withheld. Others are are just going to be blessed with the hand of favor. We're almost there. Some are going to find supernatural increase in their bank accounts. Receive it. Some are going to be notified by the IRS. You have money coming. Receive it. I'm not talking about money you know is coming. I'm talking about an abundance you don't know of. Someone had a false audit. 
in this room. And God says, the IRS audit is going to be reevaluated. And you shall receive five times what you had to pay after the audit. Receive it. Are you ready to swim? Because it's time for you to lose your footing. Because the waves are going to take you off your feet. We're about there. Unsaved family members are going to be saved because you've been in the river of my glory. Now you're going to affect your family. in ways through your glory through the glory that I have put in your life that you're going to be in my presence is going to flow in and through your family when they talk to you on the phone they're going to receive my glory When they visit you or you visit them, they're going to receive my glory. When they think about you or talk about you, they're going to receive my glory. I am going after your family. People are going to be saved that have never thought possible. The hardest of the hard, I'm going to get, says the Lord. Receive it. It's time to swim. Spirit, we ask that you release your river right now. your glory come tonight. The river of God's glory. That's what we're hungry for. We want to know your glory. God is calling us into the river of his glory. 
Let's go into the deep place of the Lord. Everything he does comes out of the glory. That's where the power is. The power is in the glory. The power for creative miracles. Received right now. Receive right now. God wants to give you His glory. Receive. It's going to saturate and cover anything and everything you do. He's calling his church into the river, into his glory. Everything God does comes from the glory, which is the river of His presence. God, we want a tsunami in our cities. God, we want your glory to go into our homes and schools. Lord, break down the banks, the boundaries that we have set in the church. It's time for the dams to be broken open. Let your river flow from every pulpit in America. God says tonight, be healed. If you need a miracle, receive it right now in Jesus' name. Aches and pains be healed. Joint problems be healed. Brand new teeth come in. We call forth for creative miracles. There's nothing we want more than to be in the river of your glory.
God is calling us to the deep of the deep. The deep into the river of His presence. Where you go in and are changed when you come out. Tonight, receive of His glory. Some of you are going to begin to feel tingling in your body. Some of you feel a bubble going on on the inside. Because God says, I'm releasing my river. Receive. He's calling you to desire the river of God's glory. He's calling you to desire to be in his presence more than anything. says there it is receive it God says when you soak in my river you will manifest power everywhere you go God will trust you because he knows that you've been in the river of his presence. to lose weight be healed right now in Jesus name the river flows from heaven from God's throne Receive of the river position yourself before the throne right now Get into the river. Get into the glory. Not knowing of him, but knowing him. Because he is the glory. He is the presence. We need to say within ourselves... see or experience your power 
it's okay. I just want to be in your presence. More than anything else, I want you for who you are, not for what you can do for me. He's raining down on your families. He's raining down on your workplaces. to have visitations of your presence. He's calling us to know him and soak and saturate in the river of his awesome glory. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Revival, get into the river. That's where revival comes. It's through the river of God's glory. for the kabod, the weighty glory. want the weighty presence, the river more than anything else, we have to live on Jesus. Why sip when you can gulp of my presence, says the Lord. My glory is coming into the church. My glory cloud is manifesting. Gold dust, oil, dental miracles. Gold flakes, gemstones, feathers, they're happening. And they're coming out of the Shekinah glory.
what are you going to do when you walk into a desert? Will you be able to find the river? So many of us are looking for a minister to bring the river to us. God says, you find my river. I'll take you to my glory. It's time for us to stop depending on others. You need to go after my glory. You need to dig your own wells of my presence. The storm is breaking up those things that have been in front of you in this last season. For many in the church have been going through things they've never gone through before. For I am breaking open the blockage. Those things that's been put in your way. God says I'm about to upset the enemy's plans in my glory. It's time to break open It's time to break open every principality every throne of the demonic realm that's been set over your region over your city over your own personal life even that has been sent by Christian witchcraft that is not backed by me saith the Lord I'm tearing down those strongholds they pray curses of all people. Some, even in this room, have received of those curses. God says tonight, I'm breaking open. I'm breaking it through. For you won't have to go around this mountain no more. Because I'm taking you through, says the Lord. Woo! Oh! God says, you are the generation of destiny. God says, it's starting to get up to your chin. The Lord said, I have pardoned them according to your word, but indeed, as I live, all the earth will be filled with the glory of the Lord. Numbers chapter 14, verses 20, 21.
truly, truly, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it remains by itself. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. This is the Lord. You are to be the fruit of the Lord. You are the multiplying grain of wheat. Since it's going past your mouth, you might as well drink. Taste of the Lord and see He's good. Drink of my presence. Drink. Don't sip. Drink. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. God says, this is my word for this nation, America, as it is in heaven, is going to be the way it is. Religion cannot stand in my glory. I am tearing down religious mindsets and boundaries. For you are the generation that shall see the unveiling of the greatest mysteries, hidden secrets of all time. Receive. We're going deeper. We're almost there. Blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel, who alone works wonders, and blessed be his glorious name forever. May the whole earth be filled with his glory. Amen and amen. Psalms 72, verse 18. And 19. Sin is being washed away in my glory. Things you've had trouble with, let my glory wash it away. It's time for you to be set free once and for all. The internet will not have no more stronghold. God says, I'm breaking lust out of my church. I'm purifying my body, holiness. <laughs> it's time for the final blood rain receive it
new teeth. Dental miracles receive it. receive all that you have. Cause a hunger and a desperation to be stirred up in every one of us. That we need to get into your river. We need to get into your glory. So many of us have gotten so fo- off focus. Going after signs and wonders or going after something that's not you. Programs, whatever it is. God, move on us. Move on us to get our focus right. It's all about you. It's all about your glory. Nothing else matters. Cause us to repent. If you've been moved listening to this, I ask that you repent and ask God to forgive you of anything that is not of him. Because if there's anything separating you from the things of God, we need to repent. Even if it's religion. Because it's not about religion. It's about relationship. Some of you over the next couple of months will hear you've been with Jesus. Thick, rich river of my presence is coming into your lives right now. Receive it. For I am changing the very DNA in your lives. Now you're going to be beating with the very bloodline of me, saith the Lord. More than ever before, I'm in you, and you are in me. Get ready for transformation says the Lord. My glory is going to drip down the walls of your homes. God says, I'm about to mess up your homes. Because I'm going to give it that lived in look. Of my glory. It's not going to be things you want to sweep up. Because it's going to be as it is in heaven. My glory can get pretty messy. Receive.
Are you willing to do what it takes to be in God's glory? Even if it takes you months? God says, I'm worth the wait. Keep pressing into me. Because you will find me. Because I'm waiting for you to come. Some are looking for a shot of my glory. God says, the glory I'm about to pour out upon my church, there's not a needle big enough to handle this injection of my glory. God says, just like the law of gravity, what goes up must come down. God says, what goes in must come out. My glory goes in. My glory comes out. You are to be a reservoir of my glory with a spout. release everywhere you go. (laughs) Then you don't have to worry about what others are thinking. Let loose and go all all out. Because I am with you. God says we're up to the ankles. Let's go deeper. Prepare your heart. It's time to ascend into a higher place of His glory. One glimpse of the King of glory is going to rock your world. The earth is the Lord's and its fullness, the world and those that dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters. Who may ascend into the hill of the Lord or who may stand in his holy place? Psalms 24, 1 through 3. God says, I'm about to bring new realms of my glory. Realms that's never been experienced. A level of my glory that the early church has never seen. The greater works you shall do because of my glory. God, we want to gaze on the beauty of your face. We don't want to just sing to someone we can't see. We want to see you.
This is Jacob, the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face. Psalms 24, verse 6. God tells Moses that he's taken his manifest presence out of their midst. That his presence would not go before him. He told Moses that he could still expect the fulfillment of his promises. He even promised an angel would go before them. Moses wasn't happy with this. He wanted God's presence. He pitched a tent outside the tabernacle and pleaded, If I have found grace in your sight, show me now your way that I might know you. There's revelation in the glory. Receive of the revelatory anointing out of my glory. But we all with unveiled face Beholding it as in a mirror. The glory of the Lord are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as by the Spirit of the Lord. Second Corinthians chapter three, verse eighteen. Do you really want to see the glory? Because I, the Lord, am coming, and I am the King of glory. Lift up your heads, O you gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors. And the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle Psalms 24 7 through 9 the king of glory is coming to those who seek his face The gates and the doors are the church. You are the gate. You are the door. The gates and the doors. The glory shall manifest.
God says, you want to raise the glory level in your life? Pursue. Get in a hot pursuit for me.